All right, good morning. It's Sunday morning. You better be preparing for Sunday school. I want to do a little video. Let me tell you this. I'm thinking about restarting my channel. What does that even mean to restart a channel? I'm not going to delete my channel or anything. Don't get ideas. Um, but here's what I'm thinking. When I started my channel, I should say this. Um, when I did tutorial videos, um, here's what I wanted in a tutorial vid video. I wanted it to be short and concise, get to the point, uh, actually talk about something novel, and you put tutorials videos out there, and they partially made my channel. I, one of my uh, first tutorial, uh, I guess, series was on LaTeX. I did a bunch of other stuff. Um, it was good. I got some stuff out there. But the thing about that, the thing about, especially about YouTube, is that uh, basically if something was made more than a week or so ago, YouTube will never recommend it unless it just goes totally viral, okay? So in addition to that, I'll say that, you know, one thing I realized since having a YouTube channel is if I do a video on something, let's say I do a video on Vim, I do a video on my shell, I do a video on anything technology related, if I put that video up, if I show people all the great setup that I have, What's going to happen really soon, or really immediately once I put that video up, is someone's going to give me more ideas of what to change. You know, oh, you can make it better by doing this or that, okay? So, weirdly enough, the paradox of my uh, channel, I guess, is that when I put out, when I put out dot files and when I put out, oh, this is what I'm doing for this program, uh, that will, will nearly immediately change, okay? So, that's, that causes a bunch of confusion for people, obviously. Um, you know, who are trying to follow my dot files and I link to something and it's changed within the past week. Uh, but anyway, um, why I bring this up is I'm thinking about restarting my channel. And what I mean by that is I'm start, you know, I originally thought, okay, when I put up a tutorial video, I'm not going to ever need to put anything else. If I do a tutorial video on LaTeX or my terminal or I don't know, something else, I never need to do another tutorial on it because it's over. My information is out there. Well, first off, my information is always increasing. It's partially based on you guys, but partially based on just, you know, I'm more experienced with computers and stuff now. So I know even more about what I'm doing. Um, and also, those old, old videos, which are still good, a lot of them aren't even viewed. So I think it's, and even more so, since, I, since you know, I'll, especially when I take breaks from YouTube, uh, I'll go a couple months without putting videos out and I'll be like, oh, I have 20,000 more subscribers who have no idea what's going on. You know, they don't know. I, I, you know, I've sort of been talking to my audience like it's been there since the very beginning and mathematically it hasn't, you know. I, I, you know, I have this idea that uh, everyone's been watching since when I had 300 subscribers, which is not true. Uh, so anyway, I have two weeks off from work and that's because of Corona Chan. Uh, so I have lots of time at home. And I'm thinking about probably, I, I want to actually probably put up a video a day, um, just redoing some, not, not, I don't even want to say redoing, but retreading the same content, but with better stuff now, the better stuff I have now. Um, and really what I'm looking for is, let's say uh, I'll probably do a video on my terminal, ST, uh, which I, I've actually done two videos on that. That's one of the rare cases where I've actually already done two videos on it, just because I added so much to it. And I think what I'm shooting for is a tutorial that starts off with really basic stuff, uh, obviously going through things pretty concisely and quickly. Um, but then at the end of the video, when only the most hardcore people continue to watch, I'll talk about some of the more, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know, hardcore topics. Uh, and I think that's usually how I want to arrange the videos with the, uh, the information for the normies up front. Everything else uh, is a little hardcore as you go on. Um, so I'm sort of planning videos like that, and I'll probably be making them uh, soon enough. Anyway, that, that's just my idea. Originally, I will say I was sort of a snob about redoing videos. That's one of the reasons I haven't done it. You know, whenever people would ask me about a question, I'd just be like, oh, I did a video on this two years ago. Check this out. Um, and I originally had the idea, oh, well, I'm just never going to, to redo a video. That's sort of cringe. I'll, I'll just be like um, milking people for views. But the reality is I, the, the, it's the state of YouTube that YouTube just does not recommend old stuff. And a lot of the old stuff could be done better, uh, especially my earlier videos. E even at a, a video standpoint, uh, I don't. I didn't even record in 1080p. I recorded at like the weird, um, what is it? I forget what the resolution of the ThinkPad X200 was. Or no, I had this weird TV screen that was like some weird resolution. So everything I uploaded to YouTube had black bars all over it. But uh, all right. So anyway, that's what I want to do. Um, so keep in touch if you have any uh, specific things you want, you haven't seen me do, or uh, any things about my dot files that you're confused by, uh, feel free to ask or just anything you want to see. Now in general, I one, one finally, final note is um, 
One thing that distinguishes me from some other channels that do uh, tutorial videos is that uh, since the beginning, I have, I've, um, I've basically had this mindset, I don't want to do a video on something that I'm not perfectly knowledgeable about, or at least like, you know, relatively more informed about. Um, there are some channels on YouTube, and this isn't a knock against them, it's not a bad thing, but there are some guys who do uh, tutorials on programs that they just installed and started using yesterday. I am absolutely not that kind of person. Um, and the reason I don't do that, well, first off, I've never really gone out there looking for things to do videos on. Um, I really just, I'm like, okay, I've started to use this tool, let me explain it. Whereas I know there's some other guys, again, this isn't a knock about them, it's good, I mean, it's good that they do this, uh, who will sort of go out there and um, just sort of pick a program, do a video on it, and that's it. Um, but, uh, you know, I guess now, from my perspective, I'm at a point where my system is actually pretty stable. Uh, a lot of people think I, I just spend a lot of time modifying my computer. That's just not the case. Uh, it's pretty much optimal. I, well, I don't want to say that because, you know, you might tell, give me some more advice and I might change it even more. But, uh, you know, it's especially my window manager, whatever changes I make to that are very superficial. Um, so anyway, that's about it. Oh, and by the way, I, I, I know I did a video set up saying I was going to use BSPWM. I'm using DWM and I'm using DWM for life. I'm sorry. I just can't. Maybe I'll do a video on that one, but uh, uh, that's not that's not for here. So anyway, that's about it. My cell phone's about to run out of uh, power because I haven't charged it in days. It was, just, it was just in my car like all week. So I'm going to turn this thing off. See you guys next time.